What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys some more spin tires mods. Now this has got to be, I'm going to just come right out and say the best mod I have seen in a really really long time. This uh, we've, we've seen quite a few uh, Chevy mods and spin tires. I mean we had the uh, we had the Ironhide uh, GMC, we also had the GMC Sierra that had, the, uh, that had a couple of different versions. We also saw another Silverado but th there wasn't a realistically done um, Silverado Duramax until until this truck was put up on I believe spintires.nl there will be a link in the description box below um, I'll go back and find it to make sure where it is um, the only thing I don't like about this truck is as you can see down there in the corner it's got a tiny tiny exhaust which is I, I don't even know um, I don't even know what's up with that tiny tiny exhaust but other than that this truck looks great I mean the stance it has, the just the way the wheels are spaced. I mean, it's got proper spacers. You can properly see the suspension. The lift is realistic. Everything about this truck is just really well done. And it also means that now I can do an actual face-off between, uh, between that Ford F-350, the uh, Ram 3500, and finally we have a realistic, uh, a realistic contender um, from Chevy, a realistic Duramax diesel contender. So... Um, and also, at idle, I don't know um, how the sound levels are in relation to my voice, but they should be pretty decent. You guys should be able to hear the truck. It sounds really good, in my opinion. It sounds really, really, really good. So, let's go ahead and set off. Now, it does have, you can see, you know, you can see a decent amount of smoke coming out, and obviously my uh, smoke mod, uh, or smoke enhancing mod, is going to help that. But, for some reason, even though I have the turbo spool um, enhancing mod, I mean... It doesn't seem to be that dramatic, but, I mean, I guess you can kind of hear it, but it doesn't seem to be super dramatic. I'd kind of like that to be a little bit louder, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know if maybe that's... Uh-oh. All-wheel drive, diff lock. Come on, pull yourself out. Pull yourself out. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Duramax power. But, um, definitely excited to do some, um, some face-offs with this and some other diesel trucks because I'm starting to build a really nice library of these diesel trucks and spin tires, and it's nice to have such a variety. It really is nice to have such a variety because I felt like the um, the GMC Sierra mod was it was a nice mod, but it was I, something about it just wasn't right to me. Like it just wasn't. It didn't feel like it was done to the extent that it could have been. And this this version, well, not version, but this uh, Silverado Duramax is what that I feel like this is. This was done to the extent that that Sierra should have been done to because. This is a great mod, and the only thing is, if you look at the interior, it seems like they took the steering wheel from a Dodge, but, I mean, you can let that slide, because it's a it's a good quality interior for what it is, and the exterior, the exterior is great, I mean, the exterior, the suspension, the undercarriage, the wheels, the tires, everything about this mod is top-notch, it is top-notch quality, uh, top-notch workmanship, and everybody that was involved with making this mod, I don't know if it was multiple people or just one dude, but... Especially if it, if it was one dude that made this mod, huge props to you. Huge props to you. Um, I, I want to congratulate you on doing an amazing job with this mod because as of now, this is by far my favorite pickup truck and spin tires. By far my favorite uh, diesel truck and spin tires. It's just so well done. It looks it looks totally real, realistic. It looks like, like a real lifted build that someone would do. Um, and everything about this truck was just done very, very well. So, um, hats off to the person that, that made this mod because they did an extremely good job. Diff lock, maybe. Uh, oh, I think we might be screwed here. Yeah, no, oh, come on. There you go. Pull yourself out. Pull yourself out. Yes. Yes. Mm, this is a slow go. <laughs> this is a very slow go. I might end up just snapping. Let's just see, switch it, or to dev mode, there we go, snap it. And as long as we go slow, like really slow, we shouldn't sink in the mud. We're not sinking that badly. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, as long as we don't either stop or spin our tires, we're alright. We're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine here, we got this. But seriously, that's the, um, also just, it's just fun. It's just a fun truck to off-road in because it's so authentic. It's such an authentic mod. In fact, let me actually go through this, uh, this little pond, mud hole, whatever you want to call it. 
and then get some power on and it just pulls right out the other side it's so well done it really is and now that i have this i feel like i really need to do another um another uh diesel truck showdown challenge be uh with the with the ram and the ford because i feel like it would be a really sweet battle now that i have now that i have this truck it'd be a really sweet battle uh-oh yeah, that's not gone well. The thing is, the only thing is, I mean, the bogging capabilities of this truck aren't brilliant. Uh, they aren't, like, they aren't that great, but other than that, though, other than that, it, this truck is seriously a masterpiece. It is really a masterpiece. The, the dude that, that, that made this mod, I, I mean, the UV developers, they should give him a job, uh, putting, you know, putting, uh, trucks in the game. They should, they should give him a job. Uh, modeling trucks for the game because modeling them, putting them in, because I've seriously just hit it out of the park with this truck. It is absolutely incredible. Let's stick it back into high. See how we do here. Trying to get through. Uh oh, I think that's the edge of the map. Yeah, it is the edge of the map. We're gonna have to turn around. Either turn around or keep heading this way and see where it takes us. We'll probably end up out in the middle of nowhere though. Either in the middle of nowhere or stuck in mud because, admittedly. Bogging isn't this truck's biggest advantage, but I mean like I said though other than that it's 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 great. The only thing that I think it might need is uh I don't know. I'm trying to think of anything that this truck might need. I mean, I would love I would love it if um if the dude would take maybe at least put um a big exhaust tip on the end, like just a big diesel exhaust tip. That would be awesome. Um as well as a uh, a trailer hitch. Those two things. A big exhaust tip and a trailer hitch, and that would complete this truck and make it perfect. It would be absolutely perfect um, with a large exhaust tip and a trailer hitch. I would, I I don't know, I don't even know at that point what else you could do to this truck to make it to make it any better. Because I mean, maybe work on the interior a bit, but that's ultra nitpicky. Because right now it's a beast. It looks great. It drives great. It has. A really good amount of power. It's not as powerful as that crazy uh, power mod Ram 3500, but it's still got a decent amount of power. I mean, we're going kind of slowly right now because two things. I don't want to sink, and like number one, I don't want to sink, and number two, I got the diff lock on, so that's obviously going to cut the uh, cut the speed quite a bit. But as it stands now, I mean, it does decently well through things like the swamp. I mean, it's pulling nicely. The only thing. The only thing that, that, like I said before, though, that really phases it is if you get it in mud that's, like, deep enough where, deep enough to where it's, like, up to the bumpers. That's when it, that's when it starts to go downhill for this truck. But other than that, it's a beast. Other than that, it's a beast. It's a blast to drive. And it just works out really, really well. Oh, coming up on the, like, I don't know if it, it's like a rocky area. It's almost like a quarry. I don't know how this thing will do here, but we'll see. It's got a decent amount of suspension travel, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's stick it in low, though, because you really want to go slow through here. Well, not want to, need to. You need to go slow through here, otherwise you're going to end up having a bad time. And I think I might already have ended up having a bad time because I may have beached it. Yeah, I beached it. The truck is uh, done. This truck is done. Let's try to go ahead and snap it out of that. See if we can back it up again. Now, I don't know how deep this is, but I'm going to go ahead and... You know what? That might not have been a good idea. Oh! Oh, God. Shit, that's bad. That's bad. Can we pull ourselves out of here? Uh, we've become submerged. We have... We have our, our truck has sub, has been submerged. Um, can we keep, if we keep snapping the thing, it'll eventually get out. Maybe. Probably not. Uh... Follow camera. Power, come on! There you go. As long as we don't beach it, we're, go we're gonna be okay. As long as we don't beach it, we'll be fine. Well, the thing is, with this... Uh-oh, that's bad. So The thing is, with this rock, these rock-crawling bits, it's so easy to get the center of the truck caught. Maybe if we stick it in high... Uh, I don't think that's gonna... Yeah. That's not gonna make any difference. Can we reverse it? Yes, we can. Uh, we might have to reverse a little bit further than that. A little bit further than that. Come on! Yes, there you go. 
Look at that suspension. You can see the freaking brakes. You can see the brakes. You can see the suspension. You can see, like, basically everything in there. You can see the control arms. It's it's crazy. That is, that is just... That's legit to me. I mean, that's just crazy that they went to that much detail to make this truck. I mean, I don't think I can think of any other truck that I've ever seen for spin tires that's at this level of detail. And we've gotten it stuck again. The whole challenge with this area of the map is is actually being able to continue to continue driving without getting stuck. I mean, the you can you can challenge yourself to go for like a certain period of time without getting stuck and then trying to beat that score. It's it's easier to get stuck out here than in the mud. I guarantee it because your truck can end up getting just caught just on the in the middle. Maybe high can get us through here. There you go. It's up over it. Oh, as long as it doesn't get caught, we'll be okay. Yes, there you go. No. No. That's not gone well. At all. We can't back out. We can't go forward. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we're pretty much screwed. And maybe back it up a bit. You need something with an insane crawler suspension to run here. You really do. I mean, this is a good lift, but it's not a crawler, and you need a crawler to run here. Don't get stuck, please. Ugh. Come on. Yes. All right, come on. Give me some power. Where are you going? Suck on the bumper. <laughs> Suck on the freaking front bumper. Dang. Don't think we're going to get stuck in this area, but... Ooh, this coming area. No, we're... The thing is, if you hit the bumper, that's the biggest concern. Because, yeah. Yeah, we've had it again. We've had... This is very difficult. Very, very, very difficult. I see the woods. Oh, I'd much rather be there than here. I'd much rather be there than here. In fact, let's try and get over there. Let's try and get over there because... This is not a good spot to be. This is not a good place to be in. Oh, grass. Grass, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for getting me away from that rocky rock crawler nightmare. Dang. Oh, God. Boost just came on. Turbo came on. Boost came in, and I wasn't... Oh, we spun it again. Dang. When the boost comes on on this Duramax, it does donuts like crazy. Wow, you can really hear it powering up the hill now. Let's actually see if we can do that again. Oh, drifting! Oh my god, dude, that was crazy. That was I just I just drifted this truck. I didn't drift it that time, but that that first time, that was sweet. I mean, yeah, it was pretty much a controlled donut, not really an actual drift in quotation marks, but I don't even care. That was legit. That was awesome. Ah, that's not gone well. We've spun it. Can we do that one more time? Maybe. Because that was legit. I want to do that one more time. Not that. That's just a spin. <laughs> that's just a spin. Alright. Let's get lined up. Let's try and go around this tree right here. Full power. Oh, nearly. Come on. Dang, come on. So close. Jeez. Woo, that's a tree there. There, the opposite lock. No, opposite lock hasn't worked. <laughs> opposite lock hasn't worked. It worked that one time. We were able to manage it that one time. And then after that, it's just like, the game's just like, no, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think, uh oh, that's the edge of the map. Uh... Yeah, we'd be doomed if we went that way. We'd be doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Wait, is that the... No, that's not the swamp. That's just a river. Let's see if we can get through it without the diff lock. Power! Nope, we need the diff lock. We need the diff lock. To be honest, I have never been in this area of the map before. Ever. So not only is this new to you guys, this is totally new to me. Well, it might not be new to anybody that's explored this map totally, but 
Uh, whoa, we're on the other side of the desert? I had no idea there was an actual woods on the other side of the desert. I thought the desert was, like, the end of the map. That's crazy. I had no idea. Let's do some dune jumping. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Come on, just wait for the auto to change down. Change down! Please change down. There you go. Oh, a little bit. Come on! What are you waiting for? Change down! That was a little bit of air. Oh, don't get stuck in the sand. Please don't get stuck in the sand. I wish it would change down because this freaking gearbox is just not willing to go. Gearbox just decided, nah, I'm not going to let you have fun today. No. Nah, you're not allowed. <laughs> you're not allowed. Maybe it'll change down. See, that's the thing. It'll change down when the truck starts to go sideways and give me more power, just making the truck go even more sideways. Oh, maybe a little... A little bit of air. I'm gonna need the diff lock for this. That's some really deep sand. That's... Yeah, we might be screwed with this one. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Dig yourself out. Come on. Yeah, that's full power right now. I mean, it's a slow go, but eventually, eventually the truck will make it out, but that's slow. That's really, really slow. Oh, are you going to do it or not? Jeez, are you going to do it or not? I mean, maybe. Wish there was a spot where we, like, I wish I, I, I wish I knew where the sand would level out again, because if I knew that, then I would just head that way, you know what I mean? Like, where the sand would not be mud anymore. <laughs> Maybe if I let off the gas just a little bit. Try and go slow, try and get it up on top. Yeah, it's not really working. <laughs> it's not really working. Maybe if I try reverse. That's not working either. I'm gonna snap it. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Come on! There. And stay out of the mu- No, never mind. It's gone in again. What the heck? What is it caught on? Is there a rock under the truck? I have no idea. All I know is that this sand is, like, super deep. I'm going back to spawn point. I've had enough of this. I'm going back to the spawn point. Although I am going to finish it off. I'm going to take it out of all-wheel drive because we're on pavement. And I'm going to do... Some burnouts slash donuts. I mean, you can't do, like, break stands or anything like that in this game. But you can do donuts if you do them right. You, oh, come on. If you're not in all-wheel drive, the, the, the truck just slides all the way around. So I turned all-wheel drive on. Let's see if we can keep it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. No, 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 no. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. A little bit more. Dang, I gave it too much power. That's the thing. It's really hard to judge. Uh, it's really hard to judge because when I'm driving, when I'm driving a, a car that I, that you would normally drift, like say, doesn't matter, like anything from you know an S13 to a V um, to a Corvette or anything like that in a game, like doesn't matter, Forza, Assetto, Corsa, uh, Gran Turismo. I'm used to judging the revs at you know like super high, at, like you know I'm using. You, you, bleh, I'm used to judging the super high revs, you know, like, oh, I'm, it's, you know, like, I can tell by the sound, like, oh, it's about to hit, whatever, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 RPMs. This being a diesel, we're redlining at around, like, 4K, so, or I think that's what we would redline at, like, 4, 4.5. Don't quote me on that, because I've never actually driven one, but, um, but I would guess from what I've seen that that's what we'd be redlining at, so it's really weird for me to judge the revs. Oop, yep, it's, it's gone again. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone again. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this mod review slash mod spotlight of this Chevy Silverado 2500 Duramax in spin tires, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. If you guys want to try this mod out yourselves, there'll be a link in the description box down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.